Everything I find online points to the fact that these CDIs are the same for a 150 and a 50. I get different part numbers on the 50s and 150s. Then sometimes I get the same part numbers. I go to Cajun Mad Dog site, QMB 139 or 157 QMJ. It's the same 6-pin CDI. I'm pretty sure they're the same. This one here, 50 or 150. Everything I'm finding shows that they're the same CDI. Claim to map the timing curve, which they could. They could advance timing, ignition timing, or uh, retard it. I guess that's true. They claim to have no rev limiter. That could give you top end speed. Let's say you were limited to 10,000 RPM and now you can turn 11,000 RPM. Well, yeah, that's more top speed if you have the power to uh, turn it. But I've seen videos where people have proved these things don't have rev limiters. I'm not sure about the QMB, the 139, but I know I've seen them where the 150s don't have rev limiters. So I can't call that a lie. And we'll be testing it against a stock CDI. My money's on a stalker. All three of those CDIs work on the 150 and 50. So how could they be specially tuned? Got my 50 mile an hour mad dog. I'll make a stock run with the stock CDI. Then start swapping them out, see if we can beat 50. I just want to make sure I get 50 first on the stock one. tried to gear it up, that didn't work, so I uh, put the stock gearing back in it, then somehow destroyed the stator, so I changed the stator, so it's got a new stator, stock gearing, a 90cc big bore, NCY cam, 21 millimeter PWK carb, and it was going 50 miles an hour, got it back together, it's going to test these CDI boxes, and I'm only going 48 now on the stock one, that's weird, so I don't know why I lost 2 miles an hour, maybe it's a headwind, maybe it's a hotter day, it keeps on getting hotter and hotter here in Florida. There's no telling what, but we're going to call 48 the stock one and see if I can beat it with these other CDIs. The blue one, the racing CDI. Oh, this is a good one. Aluminum body. It's got the little cooling fins on it. It's even got a light to let you know it's on. This one is probably the favorite on YouTube. People put on their bikes and go faster. Here it says it gives you 5 to 10 miles speed boost on your bike. That's pretty damn good. It eliminates the rev limit that keeps your bike restricted and reset the ignition advance curve for better acceleration. All right, Blue Racing CDI. Yeah, I'm looking to be 48. That's somehow my new top speed. Not really sure what went wrong there. It could just be a hotter day. Yeah, the bike's just performing a lot slower today, so who knows? Maybe it's a headwind. I don't even know. But it uh, doesn't really matter. I'm testing the CDIs against each other. 48 miles an hour, 8th mile of 16.8. That was stock. And I went to the blue one, 47 miles an hour. We'll swap this one out now for... Let's try the Glixel. This is the NCY knockoff CDI. See if it does any better. The Glixel high performance racing CDI. This is the orange one, but it's a plastic box. And it's a Glixel, but it's only... $8.99 on Amazon Prime. Promises to make all your dreams come true with high performance, no rev limit. Single stage advanced timing circuit. Sounds pretty high tech. You can get faster response to RPM acceleration and a higher RPM limit at top end if you use. I got the Glixel CDI on. You can't get it to start. This is Frickin' typical Glixel. What was wrong with the bike now? You know, mad dog. You don't know what's gonna go wrong next. It could be anything. All right, we're rocking the Glixel. And uh, see if we can beat 48 with it. I don't know why that's my new number, but it is. Thank you. 
looks like it's the same top speed as a stock one, but I got about a second faster in the eighth mile. That's interesting. All right, we've got the NCY Performance Motorsports Aluminum Bodied Orange CDI in there. The good one. The NCY metal case one. This is the premier CDI, the $60 one. You're looking for a performance upgrade, quick and easy. For your 139 scooter, this is the answer. Performance CDI box changes the timing curve of your engine, removes the stock rev limiter, results in more power and higher top speed. Side note, this is not going to make night and day difference. Huh, interesting. The NCY's aggressive mapping as well as removal of rev limit. This is ideal for custom builds or just simply trying to get a few more miles an hour. Huh, use at your own risk. NCY. Point seven in the eighth. The Glixel gave me fifteen point four, so a little bit slower on the takeoff, but uh, had the fastest top speed. So, well, that's interesting. So, I've made a lot of videos on these uh, CDIs being a ripoff, and I think I proved it. They've all been one fifty videos. I'm not sure if I've done one on a fifty yet. But if I have, it was when the 50 was bone stock. So now I've got the modified 50 with the NCY cam, the big board kit, and the PWK uh, 21 millimeter. I'm gonna tell you what, that NCY CDI, that's the bomb. Yeah, what was that, two, what was that, 51 miles an hour compared to the stock 48. Same day, same way. That's a four mile an hour increase. Have you ever wondered how to solve subtraction equations that have larger numbers? We need to take seven away from five. Uh-oh, there are only five blocks, so we can't take seven blocks away. And honestly, it did feel better. The, the bike felt peppier with that uh, NCY in there. And I think it's got the lowest eighth mile time also. So that's a pretty good mod. So for as much as I badmouth these things, the NCY CDI is definitely a keeper. Made it a lot faster, made it a lot quicker. I'll post all these times up there on the uh, screen so you can see them all together. But 15.7, I think that's a... I think the Glixel might have beat it. 15.4, a few tenths of a second. That could have just been, you know, different takeoff, whatever. 